What? Welcome back to Chimera Gaming, you guys. You know, where we take ninjas that have absolutely no relation to each other and make them fight other ninjas that have no relation to each other. Um, today I have a friend with me, uh, Vanilla GX, or GFX, I'm sorry, or he just goes as Nella, you know. If you're on Naruto boards, you probably know him. You probably hate him. <laughs> or, um... You, he has his own YouTube channel. What was it again? Uh, Vanilla Pella. <laughs> it's such a weird name. Okay, it's Vanilla Pella. I'll leave a description in the comment section. Not the comment. Yeah, the description. Y he'll probably comment. I don't know. Anyways, I'm bringing you guys some more teams for more missions and all that good stuff. Today we're doing two mi I'm going to do a mission, uh, the search for Tayuya. This mission requires winning five times in a row with either Shikamaru or Tamari. The easier one, in my opinion, is probably Tamari. But we have a team. We have Hinata, who has the ability to make herself get 50% damage reduction with Byakugan. Or make herself and all of her allies have 50% damage reduction when Byakugan's active with her 8 trigram 64 palm attack. She also has the ability to do 20 damage for 2 turns and remove 2 taijutsu or 2 ninjutsu when Byakugan's activated, so Byakugan's almost unnecessary. Uh, then we have Zaku. For those of you who don't know, he can counter for 1 bloodline, deal 20 damage for 1 bl bloodline, or <clears throat> deal 45 damage to all enemies for one bl bloodline and two random after his one bloodline air cutter move has been used. And then we have Shikamaru. He isn't a character I've shown off yet. He has the ability to target all enemies once Meditate has been placed on all of them. Has no cooldown and no chakra usage, so it's, it's pretty much you have to use it or, in order to do any damage and you have to continuously use it over the course of battle. He also has the ability to stun all enemies chakra and physical skills for two turns. For one genjutsu and one random, it used to be one genju uh, one genjutsu and one bloodline. I got like that became really useful now. And then he has shadow neckbind which deals 15 affliction damage and it can stack on itself and it targets all enemies affected by meditate, which is good. So, let's get on with the battle. Are you searching yet? Yeah. Awesome. He's eating an apple. What what kind of apple is it? Did you get the green one? I I don't I want what the red that was covered in like mold. I want to go. I love red apples. Oh man, this this better hurry up. I don't want like watching Shiring Gun, I'd rather see the Mingekyo. Oh, you got it before I did. This sucks. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> All right, let's see what team he's using. This ought to be good. I'm using team seven. No way, you're using team seven. Ah, oh, you're using team like future seven. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's got first turn advantage. I can't really describe how to use this team. <laughs> if I describe how to use this team, I'm probably going to get the floor mopped with me. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to go for Byakugan. And we're going to go for a Meditate. On to Izumo and Kotetsu. Because they have a move that can deal a total of 45 damage if used correctly. For only two random. So they're, they're something you should get out of the way almost immediately. Also, Sakura S is pretty lethal herself. She can deal 25 piercing damage for one Taijutsu, heal half health of an enemy, of an ally, of their current health. So say they have 50 health, they're only going to heal 25. And then she can heal herself for one Ninjutsu for, I think, 30 health. Is that correct? Sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Twenty-five. 
Yeah, it's 25. Wait, no, ninjutsu. Wait, ninjutsu in a random? It's for taijutsu, what are you talking about? She doesn't have AoE. Sakura... Sakura S? No, Hinata has an AoE that deals 20... 20... No, 15 damage. Oh, 20 damage during Byakugan. 15 damage for a... <clears throat> for one ninjutsu and one random, which is good. Get pwned by the palms because it does remove two cha chakra for 20 damage, which is awesome. And I only need one chakra. You know what? That's fine because I just wiped two chakra out of you. And that's every turn, by the way. <laughs> oh no, I think our connection might have crashed. It's okay, we'll get him back if that's the case. Yep, our connection crashed. But uh, we we have a uh, counter chilling up on Shikamaru S just in case, so we can get that last meditate on. And we're going to go next turn with a the AoE for 20 damage to give ourselves 50% damage reduction. And if we have the blood, go for the air cutter so we can use extreme air cutter. Right now I'm probably going to try and uh, bring up that stun because that stun's probably going to be really helpful for us in the end. With Hinata having uh, Hinata Gentle Fist, that's really good. Oh no, don't tell me his entire connection cut out. It's bad. But uh, this 8 Trigrams Palm Attack is actually really good for defense if you're going up against a, a team that has no piercing. But you know what? We're not going to use it for the defense part. I think we're going to use it for the... Um, f oh yeah, his connection ended. We'll call him back one more time. Ah. Hopefully his connection didn't drop entirely. But with Hinata's extreme... With uh, Zaku's extreme air cutter and Hinata's 8 Trigon's palm attack, we can do a total of 50% damage reduction... 50% uh, damage reduction and total of 65 AoE damage. Or if... Yeah, 65 AoE damage. So that's pretty good. With uh, Gentle Fist, we can actually do a little, a little bit more extra. If we use, we can probably uh, with this, it's 35 AOE. Oh my, 35. Okay, hold up. Let me add this up. So this does 20. This does 30. So that's a total of 80 AOE damage to all enemies if this team is successful in attacking. <laughs> Unfortunately his connection dropped entirely so I cannot show you the full extent of this team. <sighs> we'll try and get him back on call. Let's go for it again. But uh, now that you guys know how the team, this team works, I'll show you another one. I just explained basically how to use the team, but I didn't get to show you exactly how to use it. Unfortunately, you probably could have figured it out for yourself. Oh man, I cannot seem to get him back on call. Alright, so I'll show you another team that we could use. This team can be used to unlock Seikon, Tayuya, and Kitamaru all at once, which is really awesome. It's uh, Neji, Kankuro, and Tamari. I, uh, somebody had PM'd me earlier. Uh, they needed help on the search for Tayuya, and I recommended this team, and I kind of coached him through it. And hopefully he ended up uh, he ended up succeeding in the team um, and making it work. Ah, uh, here he is. You know everybody could have just everybody just seen your uh your Skype, right? What? <laughs> everybody just seen your Skype. Good luck. All right. Well, I have a new team set up, so it's all good. Uh, you can I had a 
Yeah, I know. Your, like, connection died on us, so... But while you were away, I was able to explain the team and how to use it, basically. So it's all good. <laughs> Alright. So, are you ready for the next one? Um, give me a minute. Alright. Right now, we're using, uh... Neji, Tamari, and Kunkuro. Uh, it can be an AoE team, but it can also be a defensive attacker team. With a, he, Neji has 8 trigrams, Heavenly Spin, which deals 15 damage to all enemies and makes him invulnerable for a turn. We have 8 trigrams, 64 palms, which um, makes it deals 35 piercing damage, cuts through that damage reduction. Or, uh, yeah, basically damage reduction, but there's some damage reduction can't pierce, so look out for that. And we get to remove uh, Taijutsu and Ninjutsu for 2 turns. And then we have. Neji's Gentle Fist, which deals 25 damage for two turns. Essentially, if they don't block, they will take 50 damage in total, and you can end up stacking it. So that's Neji. Tsumari has a defensive attack as well, and it has no cooldown. The only thing it doesn't defend against is mental skills, and it deals 20 damage for one ninjutsu. We have Dust Wind that makes all enemies deal 50% less damage for two turns, and makes you invulnerable for one turn. And then we have Summoning Quick Beheading Dance, which um, this move got tossed around a bit with damage, but it went back to how it originally was, and it still deals 35 damage to all enemies for one ninjutsu and two random, so that's amazing. Um, we have Kankuro. He's not exactly a defensive attacker, but at the same time he is. His, the only defense is his Puppet Preparation, which gives him 10 destructible defense. And both his skills do 5 more damage. And skills like Poison Bomb, who deal Affliction damage, can get past Jirobo's destructible defense of his Dungeon of Nothingness and ultimately end it in one shot. And then we have Black Secret Machine one shot, which deals 30 damage for 2 random and no cooldown. I actually like that a lot better than I do uh, Sasuke's Lion's Barrage, but eh. So, uh, you ready? Um, yeah. Let's do this. Hopefully your connection doesn't drop again. Oh, man. It's alright. It's not that big of a deal. What do you mean you can't move your mouse? Did you like, f there's, are you using, a you're using a laptop, right? I am. There should be a way where you can, they might have a certain button on it to where you freeze your mouse. Can you move your mouse now? <laughs> gonna click every button at the same time. Oh man, that might be a bad idea. Can you move your mouse yet? <laughs> Are you even searching? <laughs> oh gosh, we're probably gonna need to like edit it a lot. Uh, no, we'll leave it how it is. It's alright. Hurry up. I'm searching. <laughs> do you have to reset your computer? All right, we'll see you guys in just a brief moment. All right, sorry. <laughs> and we're back, you guys, and Vanilla has his uh, stuff up and working, so now we can try this team out. <laughs> yeah, forgive me about that. I'm sure it's okay. They're not going to hate on you any more than they already can. I, th I think they're at that point where it's like, I hate you so much, I don't even care to hate you anymore. The what? How long it takes for a private oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes like a minute. I think so too. Oh, cool. I already know how your team's gonna work. 
It's pretty sad. Kabuto's just gonna support the other two. Oh man. I use this team that I'm using right now to get to Genin. <laughs> get out of here, Kabuto. We're gonna use uh cutting whirlwind and set up with uh Conqueror. Always if you can set up with Conqueror and defend with one character, I suggest highly to do it. Just don't go all out and start attacking like a crazy maniac, because you're not gonna get far with that. <laughs> Oh yeah. What's also something I like to do is to fake people out to make their use make them use their invulnerability fairly quickly. Is use Neji Gentle Fist because they'll be like, "Oh, I'm gonna take another 25 damage. I'm gonna go invulnerable, and then they're gonna leave themselves wide open next turn." And I love doing that. I think it's so funny. Ah, oh, hex nah, that is not happening. So we're gonna we're gonna attack Orboro with. Uh, our Tamari with Cutting Whirlwind, and we're going to use Bombs and see how this goes over. I'm going to slide Bombs forward just in case they have, because I know one of the characters can counter, but I'm not sure if they counter for themselves or if they can counter for an ally. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mizuki, so. Oh, sweet. It. That counter seems annoying. But, uh... How much does Haze clones give? Like, 30 destructible defense? Um, yeah. So, this skill g for a Genjutsu and a random now, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it used to cost two Genjutsu, and now it like it's way better. Because um, Ouroboros has a skill to where he can do, uh, I think it's 20 AoE and stun the entire team if they're all targetable. Which, that's really annoying. And then he can deal 25 AoE damage for two random when Haze Clones is in effect as well. And that can get pretty annoying as well. Hopefully we get a Dust Wind to make us invulnerable, and no we don't. Ah, uh, 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 that ain't happening. We're going to go for Cutting Whirlwind on Orboro. We're going to go invulnerable with Neji. Because we're not taking that bull crap anymore. So far, no bloodline, unfortunately. Or else, if we had it, we would have used it by now. But we're just just gonna keep taking that uh, defensive standpoint with Tamari here. <laughs> I think I got your bloodline. Sorry about that. Oh uh, man, that's not even fair. <laughs> There's not a whole lot you can do. <laughs> Hopefully that blood comes next turn because then I can spam freaking invulnerability attacks and that'll be funny. But uh, we got Tamari still on the uh, defensive here because we kept getting ninjutsu every turn so far. So that'll keep us at a, uh, a nice standpoint. <laughs> Hopefully we get the um, dust win, make them deal 50% less damage, become invulnerable. And then save up on some chakras so we can use some more energy next turn. Some more energy next turn. More stuff next turn. No, that ain't cool, man. That's not cool. We're going to use Neji Gentle Fist on Ouroboro. Go into fan defense with Tamari and end our turn. Because we don't use Genjutsu, we're going to get rid of that. And get rid of two tie. And we're going to end our turn. And hopefully we can do some real damage next turn. We use puppet preparations with uh, Kunkuro as well. It's always good to stack a, p a couple of the puppet preparations. Possibly deal uh, 20 AoE damage with Poison Bomb. Or a possible 40 damage with Black Secret Machine one shot. This team is mostly about offensive defense. Which is... I think is really good for this team, especially if you're trying to get uh, any of the Sound 4 Ninja. This can possibly get you all three out of the four at once. And I'm pretty sure I showed you guys a Choji team with Sasuke, but we'll bring that back when we do the Search for Jirobo mission. 
So Vanilla's currently taking his time with his turn. Oh man, this is not fun. We're going to hit him with the fan technique and go invulnerable with Conqueror. And right when we get our bloodline too, this isn't even fair. <laughs> well, not always. There's people who reset. Those people who reset are so mean to the new players. It's not even fair. Like they're gonna have like freaking some of the kages and they're gonna wipe the floor with you. Like I hate when I hated when I that happened to me when I was just starting out. Oh, you got team. You got like a whole set from like when you were at Sony, and then you know I just have this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and they're just going to mop the floor with you. They're just going to take you out of your funk and then just stick a kunai in your eye. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> oh, man. That Ouroboros is scary. He's a terrifying person. Especially in this game, yeah. Uh, I remember when stuns were full stuns. I used yeah, like I used Ouroboro. Um, when they're actually good, I used holy god. <laughs> this isn't even no. Oh, this isn't even fair anymore. <laughs> I used Ouroboro. Um, Gara rehabilitated and Tenton, so I'd keep up almost a constant stun. Yeah. Oh, my dog's barking! Wonderful. Shut up, Angel. I don't want to hear. <laughs> Angel. We named her that because when we got her, that was the only thing she responded to was Angel. Shh. It's okay. So I got I think we got the floor mopped with us this time because of that stunnage and then frickin' targeting Neji like he was nothing. I'm sorry about that. But you left us with the most defensive person we could have. True. I actually <laughs> got uh I got soloed by like Tamari. I had all three of my people up one person. It was not I'm not surprised because Tamari's just that broken. So we're gonna trade out some chakra here and hopefully we get something worth it. <laughs> eh. Yay! <laughs> we're gonna go for the 35 AoE. And I hope there's no counter. <laughs> the <laughs> Wow, we got you pretty low still. That's good. I remember I soloed with Tamari at one point. That stuff's funny. It's like, ah, oh, I can't hit you. I have so much chakra, but I'll never be able to hit you. <laughs> oh no. Hey, that's Papa Genjutsu. I thought that was a counter move. I don't know. That was originally a counter move. That's an awesome skill, though. This ca this character cannot become reduced damage or become invulnerable. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that that that's yeah, that's screwy right there. I'm done. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, I know. It's like a uh, bell and trap, bells trap or whatever. Yeah. I, yep, I notice that happens quite often. <laughs> I love criticizing them for every little thing. Yeah, I think that's game over, unfortunately, but I think I essentially showed you guys how to use the team. But, uh, oh man, I hate that sound. What you really do with 
everything is you combo into almost everything with um, Neji. He deals 15 AoE damage, and you can combo into uh, Tamari's summoning quick beheading dance for 50 AoE damage. And one of your characters are invulnerable by his own technique, which is awesome since you don't have to spend their invulnerable technique to make them invulnerable. That go the same goes for Tamari. Um, Conqueror, if he's left by himself, is actually pretty good if you can get him set up alright. Especially with that permanent destructible defense. If they're not attacking him the entire game, I would suggest you just stack the, the destructible defense from puppet preparation. And then with um, one stack of puppet preparation with poison bomb, with either Tamari, uh, with her quick beheading dance, you can deal 50 AoE damage, or you can deal 50 um, damage to one enemy but f 50 damage to one enemy with the combination of either Tamari's Cutting Whirlwind or um, Conqueror's Bombs, but that also does 15 AoE damage, but, you know, combinations work well. And you can also do it with the uh, Neji's 15 8 trigrams with one setup with Conqueror. And you can deal f 50 damage as well by using uh, Black Secret a Machine one shot. So this team should work efficiently for you. If it doesn't, I mean, try one of the other teams I had suggested, or possibly come up with your own. I mean, it's it can be difficult sometimes, but I'm sure you can do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick uh, video tutorial tutorial for the search for Taiyu. Yeah. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Visit my blog at chimericgaming.tumblr.com. Um, feel free to visit Nella's uh, YouTube. Give him hate if you want. I don't care. <laughs> no, it'd be cool if you guys could show him some, him some support right now. He's uh, starting off new and as well as I am. And so, uh, as always, goodbye.